370 Now is intro to grammar and style. It begins with a focus on grammar. Not grammar the way it's studied in eighth grade or in um, uh, second language acquisition classes. Not grammar the way it's studied for linguistics, but grammar that's practical and applicable to editing situations. And then we talk about style. So the difference between correctness and preference, style and grammar, because an editor is going to have to be making those decisions. Come to class saying, oh, I love to rip up my friend's papers. And so part of what we try to do in this class is say, no, you're not walking into an editing situation and ripping apart people's work. You have to learn how to understand the situation culturally, um, personally, in terms of the situation that the document lives in and has to live in and has to be prepared for. And you have to deal with the writer. So you have to understand the whole context that the document is going to move through. So students should leave this class and then enter 470, although not every student that takes 370 is going to enter 470, um, having a really good grasp of the um, technical terms that describe grammar functioning in the English language. So they should be able to look at sentences, look at passages, and say, here's what's happening. Here. There's a lot of group work. There's a lot of work in pairs. There's a lot of work across the class as a group because I believe it, the best way to learn how to make decisions about analyzing texts and making changes about texts is to hear how other people think it through. It's really a problem-solving class. Here's, here's this sentence. How do I analyze it? How do I solve what, what is the problem? And then how do I solve the problem? And in order to problem solve, you have to listen to lots of options. So people need to listen to each other. Um, but mostly we're not producing products collaboratively. People are producing independent projects. And, and almost every student comes out with at least one or two portfolio pieces. It's not what's a noun, what's a verb. It's here's this sentence. How do you understand it? How do you describe it? And in order, in order to describe it, you have to be able to name the parts. And once you name the parts, then what? Where's, what else is happening? And how do you describe that? It's not your eighth grade grammar class. <laughs>